What's your name, sir, and who are you with? John Perry. I'm a teacher in Hillsborough County, and I'm a member of the Hillsborough Classroom Teachers Association. And what brings you out here today? Um, well, uh, right now we have a serious jobs crisis. We need uh, an infusion of money from the federal government to uh, get uh, it's the economy going by uh, employing people. So I'm out here to support the president and his uh, jobs act. Okay, and uh, what, what, what about uh, Florida? How do you, what's your feelings towards how uh, teachers are being treated in Florida? Um, well, uh, I think uh, public schools are being treated like stepchildren. I think uh, you know corporate profits are the concern in Florida, and you know, children and public education are an afterthought or maybe a nuisance to uh, our legislature and governor. And uh, so uh, we've seen a lot of uh, really bad legislation passed recently, not to mention our funding cut for a couple years in a row now. And well, no effort made to uh, replace that revenue. So what would you like to see as far as uh, you know, changes in the current laws that have just been passed by Governor Rick Scott, Rick Scott and others uh, with regards to improving the education system? Uh, well, you know, none of their bills improve the public education system. Uh, you know, they've uh, impinged on the rights of unions to uh, bargain pay and benefits and um, working conditions and how teachers are evaluated. And so, I, as far as I'm concerned, that's unconstitutional. So, uh, you know, hopefully we'll win in court on that battle, but it might take a while. Uh, you know, there's no reason for us to be paying into our pension and taking a pay cut. We haven't had a pay raise in a couple years, and now we're taking a pay cut. And there's no reason for it. We have a strong pension system. Uh, there's, you know, really our, the, our money is being used to balance the budget uh, while Governor Scott's seeking to cut uh, corporate taxes. So, you know, they're getting a, you know, he wants to give them a tax cut and, you know, give us a tax hike. Um, you know, uh, there are some other issues like uh, you know, due process being taken away from teachers, and uh, that, that's not going to you know, improve education. It's not going to do anything except make teaching less secure, met, you know, less uh, of a viable uh, career. Uh, make it easier to get rid of teachers that speak out about things that are going on that shouldn't be, uh, teachers that stand up for their students, uh, teachers who disagree with the system. So it's sort of, you know, uh, getting rid of that is sort of like uh, telling teachers to shut up and uh, do whatever they're told. So th there are a lot of issues, uh, not to mention the lack of effort to find any revenue to support uh, public schools. When there is, there are sources of revenue out there. There are uh, sales tax uh, exemptions that need to be reviewed. Uh, there are, you know, Governor Scott's trying to cut corporate taxes, which, you know, instead of cutting taxes, we need to be finding more revenue. There's a lot of it sitting out there. I don't pay any taxes when I buy a CD or a book on Amazon.com, but I pay taxes if I buy the same thing at Barnes & Noble, the brick and mortar store. So there's, there's all, you know, without raising taxes, there are, there's missing revenue out there we could uh, be getting to make sure the public schools are not suffering, the students are not suffering. All right, thank you, sir. Okay.